As we all know, doing the most damage in a fire team is one of the most small but subtle flexes that you can do inside of Destiny 2. Just knowing that you did the most damage and carried the team is pretty rewarding. Now, I also know that there are plenty of solo players that watch my videos and come to me to look for guides and weapons to choose and use in certain activities. So in today's video, I want to cover some amazing weapons that are both easy to get and will also do a lot of damage in all of your boss encounters across the Destiny universe. All of these weapons on this list are super simple to get and you will be topping the charts in your fire team if you use them correctly. So without further ado, let's get into easy to get high DPS weapons to use in raids and dungeons and all bosses in Destiny. Now let's start this list off pretty simple and let's start with rocket launchers, one of the best guns to do massive damage to bosses. Now I've got three rocket launchers to recommend here in this category and the first rocket launcher that I recommend is the Hothead. Now I'm recommending the Hothead because it is the easiest rocket launcher in the entire game to get and it is the bare minimum baseline of high DPS that you should be using against bosses. There is plenty of great rocket launchers out there that you can go and farm but the Hothead is super super easy to obtain and it will do quite a lot of damage with the right perks. My personal recommendation of the perks on this gun would have to be auto loading holster in the first column and explosive light in the second column. These two combined can do massive damage and also allow you to use a secondary gun to do more DPS while your rocket launcher is reloading. It's super simple and it is a great weapon to have. In order to get this one, just head over down to the tower, talk to Zavala and hand in a few ingrams and purchase as many as you need until you get the god roll. To me, just handing in some ingrams and getting a bare minimum great rocket launcher is much, much easier than banging my head against a wall trying to farm one from a raid or a dungeon. Now, my next recommendation for the rocket launchers is the Cold Comfort. Now, this one can be a little bit more difficult to obtain, but it is still really easy to get. The only downside to it is you may be farming it for a while because it's going to rely on you getting the drop and then obviously getting the god roll. But trust me, the grind is definitely worth it. This is one of the best rocket launchers in the entire game. Now, the way you're going to farm the Cold Comfort is obviously in the Ghost of the Deep Dungeon. But the good thing about this rocket launcher is it drops from the first activity, the Hive Ritual. Now, this first encounter is super easy to do. You can even do it by yourself, but if you can get a fire team of friends or randoms to farm some weapons with you, it will obviously make this a lot quicker. Either way, if you're looking to get your hands on a cold comfort, the first encounter of the dungeon will do it. Just do it once, get the loot, and then head to orbit, and then reset the activity, and you can just do it all over again. Now, the god roll for the cold comfort would have to be Envious Assassin in the first column, and then Bait and Switch in the second column. Now, using Envious Assassin correctly, and then pairing this with the Origin Trait Restoration Ritual, you can get five rockets into one magazine. Now, if you time this correctly and then you proc bait and switch, you can unload four rockets with bait and switch within a matter of seconds, dealing a massive amount of damage. The cold comfort is especially useful on all hunters that use something like the radiant dance machines because you can infinitely dodge and reload the rocket, meaning you can dump about seven or eight rockets within a matter of five to six seconds, dealing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of damage. Now, the final third rocket that I want to recommend is a random world drop called the Crux Termination. This is a brand new rocket launcher this season, and it is one of the best in the game if you can get it to drop. So you can't actively farm for this one. I'm just telling you to look out for it if you randomly get it to drop. Now, the Crux Termination is very similar to the Cold Comfort. You can roll Envious Assassin in the first column, and you can also pair it with Explosive Light, which is very similar to the Cold Comfort roll. This rocket launcher is going to operate basically the exact same as the Cold Comfort, reloading up to four or five rockets into one magazine, and then unloading all of these rockets with Explosive Light with a 25% damage boost is pretty impressive. So like I said, you can't farm for this gun, just keep an eye out for it if it ever drops in a random world drop. Let's move over into the Linear Fusion Rifles, which are very effective in certain bosses in the game. Now I've got two recommendations here, and the first one is the Doomed Petitioner, a brand new Linear Fusion Rifle this season from the Season of the Wish. Now the Doomed Petitioner can be acquired from Riven in the Helm, just head over to the little seasonal thing, and you can buy it for a couple ingrams. Now the Doom Petitioner has two great perks in the first column. You can either run Reconstruction or Envious Assassin. Whichever one you like using, either works here. Reconstruction will automatically reload the magazine up to double when you're not using it, but Envious Assassin will also double the magazine. It just requires you to get an extra set amount of kills with other weapons. Now in the second column, I would recommend using Precision Instrument, a new perk this season. Basically what it does is getting chain headshots will increase the damage of the weapon. After you've got six chained headshots, it will give you a damage boost of 25%. 
This is seriously an impressive linear fusion rifle, and it is also really, really easy to get. Just head into the coil, get some engrams, and you can purchase one right now. One thing to note with the Doom Petitioner, if your group is using a Divinity, getting critical hits on the Divinity will not actually proc the Precision Instrument perk. This is a little bit unfortunate, and maybe it might get fixed in the future, but it will require you to actually get a headshot on the critical point on the boss. Using a Divinity will not count for this perk, unfortunately. But nonetheless, the Doom Petitioner is an amazing linear fusion rifle that I definitely recommend you try and get crafted before the season ends. Now, for some reason, if you don't have the Season of the Wish, or you don't feel like playing, or you don't like the Doom Petitioner, a great alternative to this one is the Taipan 4FR, which you should already have crafted if you've got the crafting DLC, which I'm sure you already have if you're watching this video. Now, the Taipan isn't as good as the Doom Petitioner, but it is still very, very impressive, with some amazing perks to run. In the first column, you can run Triple Tap, you can run Field Prep, or you can even use Clown Cartridge. Now, in the second column, you can run Focus Fury, or even Firing Line, depending on what you like to use. If you like playing solo, use Focus Fury. If you play with some friends, use Firing Line. This weapon is amazing, and you should already have it crafted right now. Let's move over into the Fusion Rifle section, which is a great combo to pair with all your rocket launchers with some sort of auto-loading perk. Now, the first recommendation of a Fusion Rifle is none other than the Eremite. Now, this weapon came out last season in the Season of the Witch, so you can go and purchase this one right now from the Helm, just get some Witch Engrams, and then go and purchase it. This one is also craftable, meaning you don't have to worry about farming for a God Roll. Now, the Aramite is a solar fusion rifle that sits in the special section. One of the best ways that you can increase your damage on bosses is by using two separate guns. The best way I like to do this is use a rocket launcher with some sort of auto loading holster perk. So once you shoot a rocket, you can put it away and pull out your fusion rifle and unload a couple bullets of your fusion rifle to increase your damage while your rocket launcher is reloading for itself. Once it's reloaded, switch back to the rocket launcher and then unload a rocket. Now the Aramite is a great weapon to do this with because it has the perk Envious Assassin and also Controlled Burst. These two perks make you do massive damage to bosses while also giving you maximum ammo in one magazine, meaning it doesn't have to reload itself. Envious Assassin will give the magazine 20 bullets in one mag, meaning it will last you the entire boss phase no matter how long it is. Being solar as well, you can pair this with a lot of great solar heavy weapons to do massive damage with your solar surges. The Eremite is a great weapon to have, and if you haven't got one crafted yet, make sure you do it before the final shape. Now, the Scatter Signal is basically the exact same weapon. However, it is Strand, and it goes in the primary slot, but it still uses special ammo. So you pretty much want to use this weapon the exact same as you would with the Eremite. However, this one has a little bit different perks. In the first column, you want to go with Overflow, which works similar to Envious Assassin. It just means you have to pick up ammo to overflow the magazine. And then in the second column, you can run Controlled Burst, which will give you a 20% flat damage boost. Both of these fusion rifles are great to have in your loadout depending on what boss you're doing or what surges you need to use or what weapons you need to swap in and swap out. Now let's wrap this list up with a sniper rifle that is recommended to do damage to bosses and that is the Ikolos Sniper. Now sniper rifles aren't really the preferred weapon to do damage to bosses but the Ikolos is definitely an exception. Now the Ikolos being a crafted solar special sniper rifle is an amazing weapon to have in your loadout. The god roll, in my opinion, is 4th times the charm, and pairing that with Focus Fury in the second column. Now, the best way to use the Ikola Sniper is to pair it with a solar heavy weapon so that you can double stack your mod surges on your boots. What you want to do is unload a solar rocket launcher, something like the Apex Predator, and then switch to the sniper rifle, and then unload as many bullets as you can. Stacking Focus Fury on the gun to give you a 20% damage boost, and then on top of the Surge Mod's damage boost, this weapon can do some pretty good damage. Add in 4 times a charm, I believe you can unload around 8 or 9 bullets, depending on how many headshots you get. Now, I like to use the Ikola Sniper when I'm doing long-range boss fights in Destiny, which there are a few in the game. However, if you're in close range, I definitely recommend just using a Fusion Rifle and a Rocket Launcher. Now, you can obtain the Ikola Sniper through the Exotic Mission Rotator when the Season of the Seraph missions are in rotation. All you have to do is just grind a few missions out and hopefully you can get your hands on a few snipers and then maybe you might have to use a few deep side harmonizers. I just wanted to recommend this gun because it is probably one of the best legendary snipers to use for boss DPS. All of the other ones are pretty average. But anyway, that will wrap the list up there. Thank you Guardians so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe and comment down below. And let me know what your favorite weapon and god roll is that you use to damage bosses in Destiny. But again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Let it